Pierce and Hetherington again. Hetherington's got to be careful here. We know Daisy Pierce is crafty. She keeps her feet. Sits on Hetherington. This might be holding the ball. It is. Well done, Daisy Pierce. Kicked the one goal two last week. Did Daisy Pierce in that win against the Gold Coast Suns? She shouldn't make a mistake. She doesn't. The D's, they get their first on the board. And it's through their superstar, Daisy Pierce. Couldn't quite get the hands free, Melbourne. Their first real defensive effort. Staunton did really well. Can she get the handball free? She did. She gets it off to Privatelli. Wonderful tackle from Gabby Colvin. Saved a certain goal. Eliza West again. A clever handball. And now an opportunity for the speeds to Bannon. We know she loves to run about. Taking two bounces. We'll go for a third. Got no reason to stop. She can keep going. Four bounces. Make it five. Keep going, Bannon. Go all the way. Outdo yourself towards the goal square. Wow. Wouldn't that have been something? And again, straight away, they want to transition into the corridor. Giants seem to be alert to that at the moment. Dalloway. Advantage is being paid. Mithen's taken the free kick and then the beautiful pass to Kate Hoare. Inaccurate this year, Hoare. The five goals, eight. But that's a beautiful kick straight over the goal umpire's head. And the D's have got their second. Paxman happy just to clear the congestion, get it outside the defensive 50. Bannon won it. And then Jackie Parry just came off the bench. Nobody saw her. She's only got panic in front of her. Takes a bounce. Doesn't want to go for goal. Unselfishly with a kick into the path. Oh, didn't quite bounce at all. Again, pops it to the top of the square. Giants have got numbers there. It's going to be a free kick holding the ball. Eventually, something was going to give. It's been a long time since they've kicked a major. And they finally break the deadlock through the Ds. And they're well in control in this game. Many opportunities for the Ds to hit goals. And that was a beautiful Zanka set here. play, yeah, from Melbourne. The tap down to Zanka. And there's that matchup. Randall and Harris. And Randall's given away another free kick to Taylor Harris. It's for a 10th goal of the season. Having a wonderful year in her new colours. Has kicked the goal in every game. And that continues. And Melbourne skip away. Allowing to get through and, and create a contest like this. Harris in front. That's her bread and butter. That's regulation for Taylor Harris. Read it best. Got to the front. Another contested mark. And she'll go back for a second of the quarter. Just has to keep her head over the footy. Does, sneaks it home. Two goals for Taylor Harris in this final term. Scott tried to fire the handball forward. Melbourne's pressure's unrelenting. This is what the good sides do. They do it from start to finish, no matter the scoreline. Top of the square, Pierce had an almost day. Kate Hall, again front and square. Regulation textbook for the superstar. So another opportunity here for the Giants. Can Elise Parker do something? She couldn't take the chest mark, but she might be able to get a score on the board. Throws it on the boot, around the body. Live ball, Doyle lurking. Can she kick a goal? She can. Well done, young Jess Doyle. Something out of the wreckage for the Giants. Pushing for a top two spot. They'll be third as of tonight. But they have put the competition on notice, particularly at Casey Fields. They are a hard team to beat.